Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo, I don't want to go to jail. Ize Iyamo. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. Hmm. The elections are in full swing and a lot is going on. Uh, Ize Iyamo has been endorsed by, by President Muhammad Buhari, who gave him, who gave him the flag. Uh, the flag off of Edo APC campaign is actually tomorrow and um, a lot is going on right now as we speak. A lot of issues are, you know, on ground with regards to the national, uh, the, Azem the House of Assembly in Edo State. Bola Tinobu has accused uh, Bobaseki. I don't know if he's the governor or is the, god the main godfather of Edo State. Uh, Bola Tinobu is still on board, you know, trying to get on with his own, you know, his own issue, you know. So there's really a lot with all this going on right now as we speak. He's saying... Um, uh, Godwin Obaseke did not inaugurate the uh, legislative arms. Uh, I mean, I don't understand it. Bola Tinubu is not a senator. Is not is 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 bad enough that um, uh, uh, Abubakar Malami is doing his own on his side. The Attorney General of the Federation is taking side. You know, I don't know why he has to come on board now. When these people has been elected more than six months ago, the Attorney General of the Federation did not say a word, did not intervene in the matter. But why this crisis is going on just few days to the election? See what he has done. He has agreed and given them a letter behind that they should go and inaugurate in a secret location. Who does that? Is this a constituted government? Is this democracy? Or this is a military regime? This is a lot of things we are talking about. You see, this is what is going on in broad daylight. This is Nigeria. And this is what, you know, people are doing. This is wrong. This is unfair. And this should not be done at all. Anyway, guys, Ize Yamu has expressed concern that he does not want to go to jail. I think he's seen the whole issues that is coming on board and he's saying, you know what, I don't want to go to jail. Let's get onto the news and get all the details. The All Progressive Congress APC candidate in the forthcoming Edo state governorship election, Osage Ize Yamu, has said he does not want to go to jail. Ize Yamu stated this on Friday while speaking with state house correspondent following his endorsement by president muhammadu buhari he distanced himself from the uprising happening in the state ahead of the polls the independent national electoral commission INEC, also threatens to stop the governorship election in the state if violence proceeds but responding to a question no violence in the state is a yamu blamed the issue on Obaseki. He claimed Obaseki has threatened to deal with anyone due to immunity he enjoys. If you ask your correspondent in Edo, it is the governor that has been beating the war drum. My billboard, we are being vandalized. Nobody has touched their own. We wrote petition to the commissioner of police, the director general, DSS, they are, they are the ones that went, that went to make the state ungovernable. I am sure you heard the governor say that himself and his deputy have immunity and so they can deal with anyone. I don't have immunity. I don't want to go to jail. It is not my character to deal with anyone. I will stay in my own corner. We will see who will win this election. I can assure you he can pre begin to prepare his handover speech. This is what I have to say because I know that I am the next governor of Edo State. I am not ready to go to jail, and I'm not going to include myself in any of these issues that are going on board right now. That is Ize Yamu speaking and saying that he does not want to go to jail, uh, accusing uh, Obaseki of everything, taking every word that uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki has said. We reported on that, and we did a video where Governor Gordon Obaseki said uh, that what is going on right now, they have immunity and they will deal with anyone who will not obey the rule of law. Well, uh, those words have been taken and have been twisted, you know, saying that Governor Governor Bakasky said he has immunity, his deputy has immunity, and as such, they should, he is ready to deal with anyone who is ready to deal with anyone who who be, misbehaving the 
in the state. Well, is a young is saying, I'm not ready to go to jail, so I'm not going to say anything. But he's but he's make, making some straight uh, statement saying he's very sure that he's going to be the next governor of Edo State. I want to believe that he has been assured by some people, but Edo State, it doesn't matter what anyone says at this point. The end, they say, justify the means, and the end will tell who the governor of Edo State will be. The elections is around the corner, very close. A few days to go precisely, a very few days to go, 48 days precisely, and you can see the tension already warming up. A lot of um, issues are coming on board. Uh, State House of uh, the House of Assembly, they impeach the uh, they impeach Frank because he's on the side of Obaseki, and even um, uh, uh, Philip Shaibu said it was him that they wanted to use against Obaseki. He said, but he has come to say, you know what, Obaseki, we have come to work together and I don't want to betray this man. He said, I will stay with him and I will fight with him to the very end. I don't want, you know, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a snitch. I don't go behind the person who I've come to see as a brother. I'm going to walk alongside with him. We're going to walk together. You see, he says, so this is what he's talking about, that Governor Gordon Obaseki, you know, uh, is, is the one instigating violence, is the one beating the war, the war drum in Edo State. Well, my people, even the U.S. have heard of what is going on. So if you think that it's just about Nigerians, no. We'll be doing a video shortly after this one. Please look out for it. We had the Un United States of America have given a warning with regards to a do and undo elections. Why are Nigerians so power driven, so fighting for power? What and what is Bola Tinobu's position in this whole matter? That he has left the whole of Lagos State and he's nobody. He was the former governor of Lagos State, yes. A a APC is telling him he's their national leader, yes. So what? He's not a governor, he's not a senator, he's not a House of Representative member. He's not the president, he's not the vice president, but apparently this is the godfatherism matter we are talking about. The same God, very godfatherism matter we are talking about. You see, he wants to control the people at all means possible. At all means possible. You see, he says uh, he wants to control, control from all the way from Lagos. He wants to control a dual state and wants to tell them who to be their next governor. I don't get it. Edo State, you are the ones that says Edo is not Lagos. You have to prove it. This is the time to prove it because you can see that the governance is being pushed on you. You are being told who to be your governor by fire, by force. You see, he doesn't want to go to jail, but I mean, Edo State, hmm, you are the one to, to pick up, pick who will lead you. Because the way it's, it seems, it seem, the way, you know, people looking at it from the other end, you are being given a governor. You are not electing, you are not, you are not voting for a governor. That's the way it seems. That's the very way it seems. It seems you are being given a governor. You are not being, you know, you are not, you are not exercising your democratic right. You know, that democratic right, that your fundamental right is not what you're going to be expressing. It is well. Thank you. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.